And from three. losers round one all the way up one. to beating. Go. Beating Wonton. No, almost beating Wonton. Game three. Game three. Game three. But now we got Dijon versus Eli right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was. Didn't Dijon send? No, Eli sent Dijon into losers. So this is definitely a run back. And Dijon. Run back. Run back. Dijon Zucina is actually looking. More clean than it has been in a while. It's like his combos, his combos um, are being looking a lot more free flow. It's like he's gotten a lot more used to this character as of late. My dude is moving around, moving and grooving, I dare say, or as I like to say, you know. But you know, all of it is. A, it, this is still a sorty versus snake, and as deep as you want to go, Eli is making it very tough for you to recover. I get, wow, attacking the grenade, and using the invincibility to stay alive. Okay, Dijon, very smart. Retreating there. Put him in a tech situation. He misses the tech and eats a whole F smash. My man is going off. Lucina advancing there. Safe move and very good on Dijon. Just like, you know, spot dodging, keeping away from that pressure from Snake. Eli has to find a way to get this dodge. But, you know, Snake can just kind of do what he was. But Eli likes to just, like, he's a very, like, read-heavy Snake. I mean, I feel like a lot of Snake stuff is, like, read-heavy. So Eli likes to, like, you know, figure out what, how you're going to approach it. Oh, my God. Look at these little grenade tricks. Stepping in. Stepping in, out. Stepping up tonight. Good dash attack, and then an F tilt shall seal the stuff. He like going crazy right now. Nice. And this is kind of just, yeah, hidden snake on the shield. It's like the game plan that Eli wants. I mean, the, the basic snake game plan is kind of just coming back into fruition right now. Yeah, oh, wait, never mind, never mind. These are showing the signs of adaptation in life. Never mind, Eli just, that's that's basically Eli's deep Dragon Punch, bro, the DP. The wake up F-Tilt, or just F-Tilt, you know. He's not trying to find a way to keep this matchup going back. Um, You know, I usually am very against taking Snake to F to Battlefield of all freaking stages. Dijon's movement is so clean right now. Holy shit. I'm sorry, y'all. My brain's all over the place. Um, So I'm usually against taking Snake to the stage because it just, he can control so much room. It's so hard on this stage. It's so hard to just deal with Snake, Snake Nazis on the stage. But, you know, at the same time, it's also very... No dare? Oh, my God, that's rough. It's also very difficult to deal with Lucina. Lucina's nonsense on this stage, too. Getting juggled by this character, even though Snake doesn't believe in getting juggled. Um, getting juggled by this character is tough. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was man setting him off stage. This is just a position Eli wants. Forcing Dijon back into disadvantage. He's trying his hardest, but Eli is just like super good at counter poking. Like every single time Dijon goes up and throw a move, just like poke or something, Eli is ready. Look at with these like cross up night crowd. Just the anti air pros down tilts. Super good uh, airs and just like all the spacing around. Like why is the snake good at spacing? E Dijon Deadoff could have just held stage control and hit him with like an S smash or a down smash. I don't know if Lucina has any moves that like hit uh, two frame like that. And now Eli is in his element right now. Dijon out of percent with any aerial or just something from Snake will kill right now. Up tilt, back air, up air. Good job weaving the Nikita. And there it is. The up tilt is the, is the one that takes the stock. I'm telling you, bro. Anything with a tip, with a clap to my brother. And that's going to be the one that does it. That is tough with a capital T. Anyways, Three, two, are you kidding me? This is the stage he picks? Is he drunk? Is bro drunk? The better player does win. And in this case, it's Eli, but it's just also just like, my friends just said, saying TK1, y'all know TK1. He just said that the better player wins on the stage, right? But um, it, the better player is usually a freaking, it's usually freaking Snake. No, not Snake. It, it, the better player in the stage wins is Eli, right? But it's also, um... This is also Snake on Smashville. This is like one of the like the no stages. It's like the stage that you don't play Snake Snake on. But apparently D John does not care. He does not read these books. He does not read the manual on like you know stages to not take Snake on. He's like, can Lucina kill on the stage? F Smash at this percent? Okay, bet. D John does not care. Swinging all the way through and air dodging all the way through too. Jumping onto an up to two. My boy pulled up with ramen. This man is hungry. As, e as Eli has Dijon in just a super bad situation. Like, I don't think... Yeah, Dijon has not touched the ground since Eli has put him in, like, the juggle state. And that is very tough. Very sad, even, I would say. Excuse me. 
Um, so now we'll be back here on this neutral exchange with the ju uh, attempted juggle save from Lucina. You know, Dijon is, he's, he's holding his own on the stage, but like, you all have to remember, this is still a s the snake stage. Like, Dijon doing a very good job playing neutral. He's not really get, allowing himself to get overwhelmed. He's keeping the pressure on, not Eli, Dijon. Dijon's doing a, uh, he's keeping the pressure, he's keeping the pressure on Eli. He was trying to get something fancy, fancy, like a shield break right there. Really good conditioning. Eli trying to find a way to just get his footing back. He needs to get some percent on here, but Dijon's token game is now looking very pristine. And then Nair at the ledge of Cash and Neutral get up. You are not on. Ryan, oh, he's not even there. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Dijon with a Nair killing him on the other side away. Good. Why? Goodbye? Huh? I thought it was a better player doesn't win. But at least that's what Gabe says. That's what gives it. The better player does not win on Smashville. But anyways, uh, keeping it going. Dijon is up a stock, and but he can he land? Because the last time he was up a stock, it, it, last time he was up a stock on Eli, uh, he did not land for the entire stock. First thing you eat all day, bro. What is wrong with you? I had to, I, you had an interview. You couldn't grab a bacon egg and cheese after the interview. That was a choice. Bro, no. There's a deli's around here. You just chose not to eat. You're crazy. Oh my gosh, Shane. Anyways. Oh my god, that was almost insane. He poked your name, but he almost got launched into an up tilt. And now it's just another last stock situation right now, but there's a lot of counter hits going on. He like nice jab mix up and just sending it back off stage. Not even gonna worry about a mix up on his own. He's gonna have to find a way back here, but recovering against Snake is a chore that your mama gave you at the dead of night. It is so hard. Especially when you have a recovery like Lucina, man. Dijon is getting near that percent. Oh my god. I'm just so impressed that Eli swung there. It is getting near that percent where one grab will spell it all. And he then has to be super careful. The next interaction has to be the one that kills, but he dies to the down tilt. Bro, I'm t snake down tilt. That is a move in a video game. And I, when I say that, I think your mic is on now.